We continue to support the ideas voted at City Council last year by members of the public and Commissioner Fritz to make a more comprehensive report. The new report is nearly a verbatim copy of last year's report with only a few exceptions, including um, that after stating how revealing how many cases the viewers helped the FBI, the JTTF investigate, they compromise our investigations, uh, and that's something that still makes no sense to us. The chief says the Bureau has worked on at least one domestic terrorism case. That's not a number. Whereas last year the chief stated the officers did not work outside the city of Portland, this year he says he assigned officers to work on one JTF investigation outside the city of Portland, but it's unclear whether he means this year is 2012 or 2013 uh, in the context of the whole report. Um, it's unclear whether they work within Oregon outside of Portland or if they left the state. Uh, explaining why the officers were received with secret clearance instead of top secret clearance, the report states the difference would only be if the officers needed access to FBI facilities or informant source information. The chief reports he does not need clearance above the secret level to manage the officer's work, but he doesn't say whether he might seek to obtain that level of clearance anyway. Uh, that his clearance level might be higher than the mayor and commissioners um, is the main reason Mayor Potter pulled out of the JTF in 2005. The chief says he conferred on several occasions with the FBI special agent in charge and receives briefings a few times a year, but it still doesn't make sense why the number of meetings should be classified information. Uh, last year's uh, link to the standard operating procedure for the GTTF, uh, when you follow it online, now goes to a generic page for the police bureau, so it's not clear whether that standard operating procedure has been taken out of the public domain. Last year we wrote a letter outlining the deficiencies in the reports. Uh, we asked for more detailed information, particularly how many hours uh, officers were working given the tight city budget and exactly how many cases were involved. The new report does not adequately address any of the concerns raised in that letter. Uh, the most concerning one is the term criminal nexus is still not defined, and we believe the FBI will invoke the need for court police at a lower threshold than would be appropriate under Oregon law. There are several requirements in the resolution for the commissioner in charge, but the commissioner has not issued his own report this year, so we don't know, <coughs> other than a few mentions by the chief, whether the commissioner fulfilled all of his duties under the agreement. Also, the resolution requires the city attorney to check in with the Oregon attorney general each year to be sure that Oregon law is fulfilled, but uh, no report uh, is required from the city attorney either. There's still no names in this report, even though we had people come up to the, to the table and identify themselves, the names of Chief Hendricks and uh, City Attorney Wolverill are not in the report. It doesn't make sense why those are redacted, perhaps, from this report. Um, and just uh, as a quick note, since my time is up, uh, the Communications Work of America wanted, uh, provided a written testimony, which I've given you, and the National Lawyers Guild was un unable to prepare testimony due to the short amount of time the report was available. And their absence underscores the testimony from February of last year, urging the resolution required the reports to be issued, oh, from February of this year, <laughs> urging the re resolution required the reports to be issued at least two weeks before being presented to council. Thank you.